Hey guys, this is Bill Bressler with Rebar Business Builders, and today I wanted to share uh, more as a reminder, probably, um, that Twitter has a lot of keyboard shortcuts that can help you get around Twitter a lot faster. You know, these days with our, our phones and tablets, and, and we're used to touch screens, um, sometimes we forget about keyboard shortcuts, but again, uh, they can save us a lot of time, especially if you spend a lot of time in Twitter. And so, um, I'm just going to cover these real quickly and um, show you how you might use them. And um, so let's just jump right in. So the first group, um, Twitter calls these shortcuts, they have about three broad categories. The first one they call timelines. Um, I like to think of them as sort of the, um, uh, the go-to section. So when you want to go to a particular place in Twitter, uh, so, for instance, uh, if you are right now, I am on the home tab of Twitter, uh, home right here. And so if I want to jump to the uh, to the profile tab or the me tab, I'm going to hit uh, G, the letter G, and then the letter P. I'm pressing those at the same time, and let me actually get on Twitter. I think I'm still in Camtasia. GP should jump me over to the profile. Um, so I just like in this timeline section. I like to think of the G as being the word go. So if I want to go to profile, or if I want to go back to the home, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit um, uh, GH. If I want to uh, go to the messages section, uh, normally that's this icon right here, the direct messages. But if I just hit uh, GM, that will bring up the uh, direct messages dialog or the inbox. Uh, if I want to go to this connect tab, I'm going to GC for go connect. Uh, GA will take me to the activities. So I'm on the discover tab, but I'm in the activity section. Uh, if I want to go to the uh, mentions, I can hit GR, and that'll take me back to the Connect tab and into the mentions section. Uh, let's see what else we've got. If I go to uh, just uh, GD, will take me to the Discover section. And let's see, if I want to search for someone's profile rather than having to try to go look them up, I can hit GU or Go User, and that'll bring up this dialog where I can start searching. And I'll search for, let's see, John Janch, and there he is. And so then I can go directly to his profile. Then again, if I want to go back to my profile, I can hit GP. Uh, let's see, a few others. If I want to look at my favorites, I can go GF for go to favorites. And of course, GL will get me to my lists. And GS will take me to my settings. Okay. So, um, those again, those are the ones that help us jump around Twitter. Now, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to hit GH to go back to home. And I'm going to, now this next set is for navigating, and this is navigating tweets or navigating messages. So um, if I hit J, you can see, hopefully you can see, and I'll try to put some highlight on here, but I've got this blue box that highlighted the first message. So if I hit J again, then I'll go to the next message and next message and next message. And if I want to go backwards, I hit K, and that takes me to the previous one. Um, let's see, and then sometimes, you know, when you get down to the very bottom, um, of course, I can, let's see, it's going to be hard to be do with infinite scroll, but if I, um, if I get down to the bottom of a list and I want to, let's see if I can, whoops, I hit messages, sorry about that, let me hit uh, J, let me try going down here, I'm trying to get to the point where I get the uh, load more. But basically, if I hit the, um, it's the period. So if I hit the period, that will load more messages. Uh, I'm sorry, I was going backwards. I was thinking of something totally different. It actually, um, when they queue to the top. So um, as I'm talking here, if I notice some more tweets, that'll um, 
that will queue up. You know, as you're in Twitter, uh, top of the tab, you'll often see that new messages have come in. And so if you hit the period, it will load those into the screen, kind of like refreshing. And then once I'm on tweets, I have, um, okay, so now I have three new tweets. So if I hit the period, it will load those three new ones for me. Sorry about the confusion there. Okay, so then um, um, the next set I have is really interacting with messages. So if I want to uh, create a new tweet, I can just I can just uh, hit the uh, letter N for new tweet, and then I can compose my tweet. Uh, if I want to direct message someone, um, I can hit DM. I'm sorry. Yeah, DM. And then I can I get the direct message dialog. Uh, if I want to retweet a particular tweet, I can just hit R. And I get the retweet dialog box right here. And uh, let's see, if I, let me go to another tweet. If I want to, um, if I want, I'm sorry, I opened that. If I want to, re let's, uh, if I want to reply to a tweet, I can hit R, and I get the little reply dialog box. Uh, and then F will favor the tweet if I find one that I want to add to my favorites. And uh, last but not least, uh, so you don't have to keep rewinding this, or if you don't have to memorize these, you can hit, um, let me, I might have to close out of that. If I uh, hit the question mark, uh, it brings up a little dialog box that gives me um, all of these, and I might not have covered all of these, but um, it gives me the different commands, and I sort of went through them in backwards mode, because to me, um, that's just how I would work, is I want to be able to jump around first, and then I want to navigate, and then I want to do things with the tweets. Um, and just so you know that you can actually press these keys while this box is open. So while this box is open, again, if I want to go back to uh, my home tab or my home timeline, I can hit G, H, and Twitter should close the dialog box and then go back to my home tab. So hope that was helpful and I hope that saves you some time working with Twitter.